In this video we will discuss swan neck deformity and compare it with the Bertanius deformity. So what is swan neck deformity? Swan neck deformity is a progressive disease that leads to joint destruction and fixed contracture of different joints. Important point to note is that collapse of a joint in a direction leads to deformity in the other joints in the other direction. So a deformity in one joint will lead the opposite deformity in the proximal and distal joint. So what happens in swan neck deformity? There is hyperextension of the proximal interphalangeal joint that leads to reciprocal flexion of the distal interphalangeal joint which is after the proximal interphalangeal joint or distal to that and also flexion of the metacarpophalangeal joints which is proximal to the proximal interphalangeal joints. So the joints that are flex are distal interphalangeal joints and metacarpophalangeal joints which are before and after the proximal interphalangeal joint which is hyperextended. Condition occurs in rheumatoid arthritis, Ehlers-Danlos syndrome and trauma. And what happens in botanius deformity? In botanius deformity there is hyperextension of the distal interphalangeal joint and flexion of the proximal interphalangeal joint. So the joint after the proximal interphalangeal joint, the distal one, is hyperextended and the joint proximal to proximal interphalangeal joint is also hyperextended and that is metacarpophalangeal joint. Condition occurs in rheumatoid arthritis and also occurs after trauma.